Scotland. What's good and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see by the title, today I will be ranking zodiac signs based on my personal preference as well as my knowledge as an astrologer. In my personal opinion, I feel that all zodiac signs are objectively equal and have their own pros and cons. It's just that I personally am able to tolerate some cons more than others. Also, for this video, I recommend that you look at mainly your moon or rising sign, since most people tend to relate to those signs more than their traditional sun sign, or if you have a stellium in a specific sign or house that a sign rules, you can use that too. For example, even though I am a Gemini sun, I am a Cancer moon and Aries rising with an 11th house stellium, which is ruled by Aquarius. So, if I was watching this video, I'd watch for Aries, Cancer, and Aquarius if that makes sense. I will also leave timestamps for the impatient ones, cough Aries Sagittarius cough, in the description and the pinned comment down below. Before we get into it, I recently uploaded a part 2 for my Lisa Astrology birth chart reading, a part 2 for my Jenny Astrology birth chart reading, and a comeback review for the month of November. So now let's get into the video. Okay, so the zodiac sign I have ranked 12th is Leo, and no it's not the traditional reason for you guys being too egotistical and full of yourselves. My first gripe with y'all is that you guys are extremely stubborn and inflexible, like oh my god, just thinking about it gives me a headache. I feel like y'all have the mindset that the universe is supposed to automatically bend to your will, when in reality, it's the other way around. Y'all need to learn how to be more flexible and adapt to change, and learn not to have fiery temper tantrums when things don't go your way. Like bitch, this is not Subway, this is not Burger King, you cannot have it your way. The next thing is that y'all are overly prideful. I swear to god, the minute that I call a Leo out on their bullshit, they love to either point the finger back at someone else or just completely overlook what I'm saying. Y'all need to learn that you aren't perfect and have things to work on just like the rest of us. Next is that you guys love to over escalate and over dramatize situations when it is simply not needed. Like I could be having a conversation with a Leo where I disagree with them, and then it over escalates to the point where we're having a whole argument. Then, I'm forced to be the overly intellectual Aquarius Mars that I am, and put you in your place with facts and receipts. Next is that I don't like how attention seeking you guys are, and how willing you guys are to conform for other people to like you. That kind of thing just comes across as very inauthentic to me, and overall makes me feel like you are insecure and lack confidence in yourself, so you have to gain the attention of others to fill that hole within yourself. My last and final problem with Leos is that y'all are controlling and domineering. This goes back to what I was saying about you guys being inflexible and stubborn. The minute that someone, especially someone close to you like your romantic partner or family member, goes against what you want them to do and instead makes their own decisions, y'all get mad. Like sis, I am my own independent person with the proper authority to make my own decisions. I don't need someone to control me every step of the way. Okay, that's pretty much it for the negatives, but since I ranked y'all last, I'll say some positives that I like about you guys so that y'all aren't left feeling butthurt. I like how you guys are optimistical, playful, and don't take shit too seriously, especially because, me being a cancer moon, I can be overly negative and pessimistic at times, and I need to realize that being optimistic isn't always a bad thing, and focusing on the positive can help me to deal with depressive moments in life. Next in 11th place, we have Virgos. Don't get me started on Virgos. First and foremost, why do y'all have to be so annoyingly hypercritical and judgmental of other people all the time? Like, I personally have the independent mindset of, if it doesn't affect me, then it's none of my business. So when I see other people constantly minding the business that does not pay them. Like I'm sorry, I don't remember asking for your opinion. I'm just like don't you have other things to be worrying about at the moment, besides complaining about how your coffee from Starbucks had slightly too much frosting on it. Like I don't know about you, but my productive ass has way more important shit to be worrying about. And overall, you guys need to realize that perfection doesn't exist, and that trying to aim for such high standards is unrealistic and a fucking waste of time. I understand that, for the most part, you guys only are critical of others because you care for them and you want them to be the best person they can possibly be, however, y'all need to work on your delivery because what you're saying isn't constructive criticism. Constructive criticism is acknowledging both the positives and the negatives, not just harping on the cons and making that person feel like shit. Moving on, I feel like, as a Cancer Moon, y'all are way too overly intellectual and analytical, and need to be more sensitive and empathetic to how your words and actions impact other people. Lastly, I think you guys, similar to your Earth sign sisters Taurus and Capricorn, are very old fashioned and love to play into tradition, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because some traditions actually do serve a good purpose. 
but as a person with an Aquarius Mars and 11th house stellium, I feel like you guys need to be more open to change and reform, go with the flow, and not be so stuck in your ways. Like sometimes I forget that you guys are a mutable sign because of how traditional you guys can be. For the positives, I like how reliable Virgos are. Like almost all of my family members have prominent 6th house and Virgo placements, and they are all very dependable, hardworking, and reliable people that I can count on. And since you guys are so open and honest, especially with critiques of others and yourself, I never have to worry about y'all being shady or being dishonest with me. Lastly, I like how organized and put together you are, because I can be, at times, a chaotic hot mess, so having a Virgo or two around can help me get my shit together. Next in 10th place, we have Libras. You know how Aries people are so direct and expressive with their thoughts and how they feel, well Libras are the exact opposite. Libras are so passive aggressive, and love to act like nothing's wrong just to maintain the peace while, at the same time, sending subliminal messages that you are upset on the inside. Like thank god I was born a cancer moon, and I'm naturally intuitive and am able to easily interpret those messages. Because, in reality, anyone else who doesn't have prominent cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces placements is going to be fucking clueless and lost. Next is that you guys are extremely superficial and shallow. Since Libra is ruled by Venus, the planet of beauty and aesthetics, I feel like y'all tend to care more about whether something is aesthetically pleasing or not rather than its actual functionality and effectiveness. Don't get me wrong, I have my Venus is the first house and many prominent tourist placements, so I understand the concept of wanting things to look pretty, I just feel like some of y'all can take it overboard. Last is that Libras love to use their charming and flirtatious personalities to get one over and take advantage and manipulate other people. Like that shit ain't cute, at all. For the positives, I like how you guys are objective thinkers and are able to see all sides to a situation, putting your biases and preconceived notions aside. Like even if a Libra absolutely doesn't agree with one side, they'll still at the very least try to hear them out. Because of this, you guys are also great listeners, communicators, and are understanding of others. <laughs> Next in 9th place, we have Aries. My little brother is an Aries moon and so was my grandmother, so I have a lot of experience dealing with you guys' kind lol. The first thing that I tend to dislike about Aries people is that you guys are extremely reactive, impulsive, and you often let your emotions influence your actions. For example, if someone is provoking you, instead of staying cool, calm, and collected, you'll act on impulse and give them the reaction that they are looking for. Next, is that you guys can be very self-centered and only think about yourselves. Look, I get it. As an Aries rising, I perfectly understand the concept of being independent, self-advancing, and making sure everyone pulls their own weight. However, someone of y'all take this concept too far and can be insensitive, not taking account other people's feelings and emotions. Next is that you guys can be very impatient. This quality about y'all really frustrates me because, as someone who has their Mercury in Taurus and their Saturn in the third house, I'm naturally a more patient, committed, and in it for the long term kind of person, so when I see people who get frustrated by a line in McDonald's being slightly too long, I'm just like, sis get over it. For the positives, I like how proactive you guys are, especially as a Capricorn midheaven, I aspire to be a more hardworking and productive person, so it's very inspiring to see. And next, I also like how confident and strong-willed you are. You don't let other people's opinions of you wave your actions, and you don't let others' opinions of you affect your perspective. Next in 8th place, we have Geminis. Once again, I have a lot of experience with y'all because my uncle and sister are both Gemini moons. I swear to god Geminis and Libras are the absolute biggest gaslighters of all time, especially Geminis because y'all are ruled by Mercury, the planet of communication, and rule the third house, the house of communication, so y'all are always slick at the mouth and extremely silver-tongued. Like a Gemini will be in an argument with someone right, and then intentionally say something that they know will trigger the other person, and then once the other person gets mad and gives them the reaction they wanted, they play dumb and say, why are you mad? Like bitch, you know why I'm mad, don't act stupid. Next, is that you guys are compulsive liars and love to come up with stories. Like I said before, Gemini is ruled by Mercury, the planet of knowledge and communication, so Geminis are naturally intelligent and great at conversing with others. However, sometimes y'all use this gift for evil, and like to manipulate others by telling them realistic lies and stories. But, me being the intuitive and emotionally intelligent Cancer Moon I am, I can easily see through the bullshit and call you out on it. 
And then, when I try to call you out on said bullshit, y'all love to be evasive and change the subject. I'm like what does so and so have to do with you lying about being at this place at that time. Next, is that you guys are indecisive and have terrible decision making skills. Y'all are extremely inconsistent and are easily influenced by others opinions, not having a mind of your own. Geminis are a jack of all trades but master of none in which y'all love to indulge yourself in different hobbies and absorb new information, but y'all are constantly switching your interests to the point where you can never master one. Y'all are also very manipulative to the point where you will only be around people for opportunistic purposes, squeezing out all of the benefits from them and eventually ghosting them. Y'all also love to make jokes all the time, but this leads you to struggle to take shit seriously and act extremely childish during serious situations. Like I said before, I like how you guys are extremely intelligent and are good at communicating, but the problem is that you have all of these good ideas and lack execution and follow through of said ideas. For the positives, I like how you guys are so funny and entertaining to be around. Like I have never been bored with the Gemini around. Y'all will always find a way to stir the pot and make things interesting. Especially with me being a more private and introverted person, I like how you guys make me feel comfortable enough to leave my shell and make me feel at ease. Next in 7th place, we have Capricorns. Like I've said for the millionth time by now, I am a Cancer Moon, so, since Cancer and Capricorn are opposites of each other on the astrology wheel, I tend to have a love-hate relationship with you guys. As a Capricorn midheaven, I like how hardworking you are and how productive you like to be, but sometimes, since you are so focused on your career and achieving your goals all the time, you can come across as a bit bland or boring. I also feel that, like Virgos, you guys have unrealistically high standards that you guys tend to place on other people, causing you to be judgmental. Furthermore, since Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, the planet of restrictions, law, and structure, I feel like you guys tend to restrict yourself to the point where it is self-limiting. Also, you know how Geminis struggle with taking things seriously, I feel like Capricorns are the opposite in which you guys take things too seriously. I think that you guys need to learn how to relax and how to take a joke instead of being hypersensitive to everything. Lastly, since Capricorn is ruled by the 10th house, the house of status and reputation, I feel as if you guys are way way too worried about what others have to say about you, and you need to learn that, at the end of the day, people's opinions are irrelevant, and by caring about these opinions, you end up having a more self-limiting mindset. Because think of all the things you could achieve in life if you didn't care about people's perceptions of you. Moving on to the positives, like I said, as a Cancer Moon there are also a lot of things that I love about Capricorns. I like how mature and goal-oriented you guys tend to be, how sophisticated and classy you are, and how practical and disciplined you are. <laughs> okay, we have now reached the second half of this video. These are the zodiac signs that I tend to gravitate and tolerate more than the rest, so I will mainly be stating their positives rather than their negatives. So in the sixth place, we have Sagittarius. First off, I love how free-spirited and liberated you guys are. Because with me being an Aries rising, I seek and crave independence because my fourth house is in Cancer, so I grew up constantly being smothered and overprotected, especially by my mother, so I tend to gravitate to you guys because of your wild and carefree aura. Like Geminis, I like how funny and adventurous you are because you tend to make me feel comfortable enough to leave my shell. You guys are also very wise and philosophical, which creates amazing conversation. For the negatives, like Aries, I don't like how impatient you are, and I feel like you need to realize that all good things in life take time and require patience. You know how Virgos are too detail oriented, I feel like Sagittarius people are the opposite and are too big picture oriented, and you tend to make careless mistakes because of it. Lastly, since Sagittarius rules the ninth house, the house of philosophy, I think that you tend to be overly argumentative and end up trying to debate people over the smallest of things, and you tend to be overly philosophical and theoretical about stuff instead of being down to earth and using actual factual evidence. Next in 5th place, we have Pisces. For the positives, since Pisces is ruled by the 12th house, the house of sacrifice, you are very selfless, generous, empathetic, and overall put others above yourself. Since Pisces is ruled by Neptune, the planet of imagination and fantasy, like Aquarius, you guys are extremely creative, inventive, and come up with things that most people would never think of. For the negatives, I don't like how you guys are water signs like Cancer and Scorpio, gifted with an abundance of intuition and emotional intelligence, but hardly ever use it. You are extremely naive and ignore the red flags your intuition provides you, 
leading you to make careless decisions that you could have prevented in the first place. Next, since Pisces rules the 12th house, the house of escapism, I don't like how you tend to escape from your problems in life and don't tackle them head on. I understand that constantly delving headfirst in those dilemmas can be toxic and can affect your mental health. However, trying to simply escape from these issues is only delaying the inevitable. Next in fourth place, we have Aquarius. I really like you and consider you to be the best air sign, especially with me being an 11th house stellium, which is ruled by Aquarius. I love how you guys have a more collective mindset, aren't selfish, and consider everyone else before you make a decision. I love how you guys don't care what other people think, constantly being authentically yourself at all times. I admire how intelligent, innovative, and progressive thinking you are. You are creative and are good at coming up with original ideas. Lastly, I appreciate how tolerant you are of others and how you always keep an open mind. For the negatives, since you guys are so progressive and forward-thinking, you tend to be very stubborn in those beliefs and struggle to compromise or reach a middle ground with others of different beliefs. In fact, I think that sometimes you can even try to impose your beliefs onto other people. I also think that you guys can come across as a bit robotic in which you are emotionally detached, insensitive, overly logical, and analytical, and insensitive. Lastly, since Aquarius is ruled by Uranus, the planet of sudden change, you can be very inconsistent. We have now reached the final three. These are the zodiac signs that I connect with the most and absolutely fuck with. In third place, we have Scorpio. When it comes to Scorpios, I am absolutely captivated by your sense of mystery and how deep you are. You are very ambitious and will go after what you want until you get it. And even though you are a fixed sign, since you are ruled by Pluto, the planet of transformation, you are very open to change. I love how you approach everything in a strategic way and are very investigative. You are very interested in delving deep and want to know how people are beyond the surface level. For the negatives, I don't like how domineering and overbearing you guys can be, and you struggle to give people their space and independence, leading you to easily become jealous. Lastly, I don't like how secretive you can be. I understand. I am a Cancer Moon and Cancer 4th house, so I value my privacy as well. But sometimes, I think you tend to struggle to be upfront and honest about certain things, wanting other people to view you as ambiguous and keep them guessing. In second place, we have Cancer, aka the best water sign lol. I love how intuitive we are and our ability to read between the lines and sense people's vibes and true intentions is amazingly good. Similar to Pisces, we have a vast imagination and are extremely creative. We are very caring and provide a nurturing environment that lets others feel comfortable around us. We are empathetic, considerate, and loyal to people who replicate this energy to us. However, for the negatives, I feel that, similar to Scorpios and Capricorns, we tend to be resentful of those who've wronged us and tend to bring up the past a lot. Also, since we are more emotionally intelligent than the average person, we can be manipulative of others and influence them to do things in our favor. We also are easily drained. Because we are so intuitive, we are extremely sensitive to things that are happening to us, causing us to get mentally drained very easily, which leads us to be very introverted and private. So when you approach us when we are in this drained state, we may snap at you or come across as moody. Moral of the story, if you see us by ourselves not wanting to interact with other people, just leave us the hell alone lol. Finally, we can also come across as overbearing and smothering because, when we like someone, we tend to become deeply attached to that person. Finally, in first place we have Taurus. I extremely relate to being a Taurus with my Mercury, Venus, and North Node in Taurus and my Sun in the second house, which is ruled by Taurus. I admire how chill, mature, sensual, and down-to-earth you are. You have a strong ability to commit to something and are extremely patient when others would have already given up, leading you to be thorough, and you don't often overlook details. You are very resourceful, supportive, and a dependable person someone can rely on. Since Taurus rules the second house, the house of values, you are very confident with high self-esteem. Lastly, you approach things in a practical, logical, and simplistic way instead of being overly influenced by your emotions. For the negatives, even though you have your generous moments, you can also be the exact opposite and be overly self-indulgent and very stingy. You also can be very stubborn and resistant to receiving opinions that aren't your own and new information in general. Lastly, you can be quite possessive and treat people as objects rather than as human beings with the authority to make their own decisions. Okay you guys, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. 
If you wish to purchase an astrology or tarot card reading from me, click the link in the description below. If you would like to hear me talk shit about K-pop drama or DM me a private question you have about one of my videos, here is my Instagram. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember to stay snatched.